Annie Alfred loves skipping in school. She is a normal 11 year old. But she and others like her are a target in a bizarre criminal enterprise. The trade of the body parts of those with albinism for use in ritual practices. Annie starts her day like many others. She wakes up, does her chores and goes to school. Annie is the only child in her school with albinism, a rare genetically inherited condition, characterized by white skin and hair. People with albinism are normal just like us but they just don't have this component of melanin that's why their skin color is different from a black person and as is often the case with people who are different Annie is stigmatized it's not just Annie who is the target of abuse it's anyone with albinism there is one name, however, that has more serious implications. Of recent, we are also being called money, money, because they say that a person with feminism. Uh, their body parts would always bring uh, fortunes in their business. And it's this reality that has forced Annie to lose her childhood innocence. This belief has led to some of the most shocking, violent and most premeditated of crimes. There were at least 45 crimes in 2015 alone, and at least 18 people killed since November 2014. One of those was Edna's twin son. It is believed that the misinformation that feed these violent crimes comes from some traditional practitioners. Those people who are telling people that uh, body parts of persons with fabulism do bring fortune are the herbalists and the witches. Traditional practitioners are widely used throughout Malawi. Thanks to protest and media pressure, there is a growing awareness of the issue in Malawi. Uh, organize these this, uh, demonstrations to, to show our anger to parliamentarians that they are not doing enough. And, to its credit, the government has responded by sharply increasing the deterrent for the crimes and by going on its own awareness-raising programs. But it's not enough. Ultimately, people like Annie still live in constant fear. An animal like a rhino or an elephant is better protected here in Malawi than a person with fabulism. Poor housing, lack of security in schools, and the limitations of the law in rural areas are all contributing factors. Bag I've been a